All right, let's try this one. Same idea. Uh, on this one, though, I'm going to add a 12x squared to both sides. So I got a 12x squared plus that 5x stuff. This is going to be 0. And now I've got 12x squared. I'm going to move some stuff around, though, so i got to change this into, I guess, formal quadratic equation stuff. And then we're just looking at the determinant to determine what type of solutions we have and how many of them there are. So I've got b squared, so that's a negative 4 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 12, times c, which is 5. So I end up with 16 minus 4 times 12 is 48. 48 times 5 is 240. I just plug that into a calculator. And 16 minus 240 is a negative 224. Right there we can see that it would be the square root of that negative number, which means we would have two non-real solutions. <clears throat> So yeah, I mean, if we were to look at this in the actual quadratic formula, you'd have a negative b plus or minus, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm kind of simplifying this a little bit, i times the square root of 224 divided by 2a. I mean, it doesn't matter what b or a are. This just shows that we have two non-real solutions, one from the addition and one from the subtraction. 